Hey guys, Tux here. As you guys know, I like to buy things on eBay sometimes, weird little Chinese knockoffs and such. And I've been needing a dash cam for my car on my various road trips I make. It'd be kind of fun to capture things, like every now and then I'll see like a shooting star or something, or an accident, or you know, cop cars, or whatever. And it'd be great to get some video footage of it. So I actually bought on eBay, like a eBay Chinese knockoff dash cam. And I tried making this video once before, and something, the footage went bad or something, so I had to redo this. So this is open, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out and show you this. this this cost about like 10 bucks on eBay. It wasn't real expensive. And um, this is what you get. This is for their like kind of like Chinese knockoff dash cam. Um, you get a little regular corded power supply, which looks pretty cool. It has a little LED light on it. Nothing too unusual about this. It has like older style um, charge power, which is kind of cool. It's kind of like the PS3 style, not the current style like micro um, HDMI or whatever. This is just a real small little, well not really small, it's like kind of the older school like PS3 style um, USB insert. So kind of cool like micro USB. But anyway, very good little power supply there. Nothing wrong. Feels like pretty good quality, good weight. Cord's okay, it's not braided, but you know, it's alright. Especially for 10 bucks. And then in the actual package here, this is what you get. Inside of here you get the actual camera itself, which will come back to this. You do get a instruction sheet, which I'll show more of in a second. And then you do get a little suction cup thingy, which actually is one of those ones that has the pressure clamp, which really works quite well, actually, I found um, for different things. So I'm a big fan of these. This feels a little bit cheap, though. It's like just plastic. Um, I think it would be functional, um, but it's not really a very expensive one. You can tell that. Um, but it looks okay. Almost a little yellowed or something, but I'd say it's okay. Um, the instructions themselves here do talk about this. It is a HD car camera user manual, okay? So it looks like this is in English, okay? It does talk about the buttons, has reset, up, three mode, confirm, menu, down, power. Um, you can read through all the things here. If you want to pause that, you can and take a closer look at it, but that's page one. And then it goes through and talks about the different things it has, recording mode, G-sensor, emergency lock, photo mode, night vision, interesting, um, view and delete files, and menu settings, time of date, screensaver, night vision, um, lots of cool stuff on there. Um, here on the side here, some technical information, and on the back is the same thing in which appears to be Chinese, okay? So anyway, you can check that out. But um, it's cool that it does come with some instructions though, I'm a fan of that. And I have not had a chance to road test this yet, but this is the camera itself. Um, I did try charging it. It seems like it doesn't really have like a battery on the inside, so to say. It does hold a little bit of a charge, but just like minutes, like not a whole lot of time at all, really. Um, so you really want to have this thing plugged in when it's in the car. Let me try and power it up and see if it does anything. Let's see here. I might have a little bit of power left. Okay, I guess not. Um, like I said, this doesn't really have a real battery on the inside, but it does seem to hold just enough charge that, like, let's say your your power supply here gets unplugged for a second, it will work. Um, but it doesn't really hold, like, you know, three hours worth of charge, so you really do need to have it tethered to a power supply at all times to make it functional. This is where the little clip goes in, so this can go in, you can mount it on your dash, which is good. And this does light up. I found that the menu stuff, is this like a, it looks a little fuzzy. Yeah, it looks like it has like a little peel-off cover, which will make that look sharper. But I'm going to leave it on for right now. Um, it has little sensors in it, and it really seems quite nice. Um, my experience so far from using it, though, is I really wish it had a battery, an internal battery, so you could like have it not plugged in for a short period of time, at least maybe like, you know, half an hour or something, and not actually to have to have it plugged in to function. I will test this later in more great detail in the car and do like a, this is just kind of an unboxing, but I'll do actually like a road test where I shoot some video on it and let you guys know how it functions. So far though, I'd say for 10 bucks, it seems like a pretty good purchase. I'm just not sure about how good the menus will work. My experience testing this so far has not been real positive, um, but I haven't given it a thorough test, so I don't want to give final judgment on it yet. Um, on the side here is where the USB card goes. That's where it charges. This is like a, um, I, this is the big button. Let's see, what is this big button? Uh, number nine, oh, I guess I should read the English one. Number nine, let's see, what is number nine? Number nine, that is like lock. Okay, so if you wanna like lock it in the on position or off position or whatever. 
and then these buttons here have menu, okay, mold, uh, mold, mode, left and right, and then there is like a little, I think it's got like a little microphone thing, so I'm not sure about the sound thing, I guess it records sound as well, but I think these are really handy, and I've seen some really cool video captured, like when the, the Meteor hit Russia back a few years ago, there was a lot of great dash cams of it, and that's because people like in other countries will just record everything as they drive, you know, which is really a great way to go because you're in an accident or something happens or whatever, and the real reason I bought this is this is, um, I do drive through the Florida Keys a lot, and there's some really pretty scenery, and I would really love to capture it, but while I'm driving, it can be really hard to shoot video while you're driving, it's not really safe, so this might be a good way of getting some cool video footage as I drive for videos, and just for my own little personal collection of nature stuff, you know, so anyway, check it out guys, if you're looking for a dash cam for 10 bucks, it seems like a pretty good purchase for, for the money, you know, I'm not saying it's the be all end all dash cam, um, again, check out, I'll have a future video down the road, and if you have any questions, put them in the comments below here, and I can let you know um, as far as how it's working so far. But I will need to pick up a, does not come with a flash card. I think I do have one here in the house I can use, so I'll try and pop that in later and check this out. But anyway, uh, more on this later. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.